Hey guys, welcome back to another LV1 focus video where we've got LV1 version 11 here. And we're going to take a look at some of the uh, new features here at AES 19 on the show floor. Uh, the first thing we'll take a look at is Maimon now. So we've got Maimon assigned right here and you'll just be able to go in here and set up your devices. iPad over here showing it. We've got the faders, work pretty well. Get rid of this. Go back to the mixer layer here and actually go back to the setup page. And what's new is sound or driver sharing. So you're gonna be able to go and assign your DAW desktop and uh, now share it as a device on the network. So you can, uh, your monitor LV1 rig is gonna be able to pick up your sound grid driver on your access or whatever, uh, vice versa. There's uh, some interesting stuff, like depending on if you share it and then you pick it up on the other machine or you assign it from the other machine and then you share it back and forth. Uh, but I'll have a video out um, at some point on that. So we'll just get rid of that here, but that's the uh, that's the driver sharing. Uh, let's see, we have extra monitor sends now. So we can go here and we have this button that says monitor and you can see uh, a full 16 monitor sends. These can be stereo or mono. So essentially what you have now is 24 uh, stereo aux sends to work with. So that's pretty handy. Uh, you also have now the ability to send a uh, monitor, monitor send to a monitor or an aux send to an aux send. So I'll go and show you what that looks like. So you, I like this half Christmas tree thing. And what that allows you to do is basically take monitor send one and move it all the way forward. So you can go and uh, assign little subgroups. So what you couldn't do before is let's go to our auxes here. Actually, aux effects. So uh, what you can essentially do with this configuration uh, is two things. You can send uh, your effect sense to like an effect subgroup and control it that way, do extra processing, whatever you wanted. Or uh, a feature that had been asked for for quite a while is the ability to have uh, an aux master send like you'd have like a traditional console and then you know, send that to like a delay or something. So what you can essentially do is have this be like your delay send and then this actually be your delay and then uh, feed into that delay instead of having to just manage the, the return like you had to do it in the past. Uh, so that's the Oxidox routing. There's been some GUI changes. The uh, tap tempo is now at the top, so you can punch this really nice and easily and have access to your tap tempo. And then they've just kind of condensed the talk button and the solo button. So that's made, uh, nice. Uh, recall safe and scene, scene scopes. Uh, there's been some changes with that. They, I think they've added mute groups and uh, some output stuff to that. But I'll have to, I'll have to play around with that later. Uh, let's see, auto logging is new. Oh, update channel state. So if we go here and we go to our scenes, they have one set up. You can actually go up here now Let's just select snare top and go and update channel state to scenes. And then you have this snapshot dialogue panel and then you can select whatever scene and then update that specific channel to uh, whatever scenes that you select. So it's, it's a pretty handy feature. Uh, look at my uh, note here. I think the, I'll have to play around with this more too. This is our Ozio, but I think you're gonna have some input gain, uh, sharing information on the uh, overview. And then they've also changed, I can't really show that here, but the load time for LV1 has, has been significantly improved and also the, uh, the snapshots. So but before like you maybe press a button and. You, it takes, uh, 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 there's a momentary pause when you move on to the next scene, uh, but now it's just absolutely instant. Super snappy to go back and forth between your scenes, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. So anyway, that's the uh, first look here at LV1 version 11.
uh, with my mod, uh, the Xerox Sands and the Oxdocs routing. So anyway, uh, see you guys.